Hi, this is Ken from Homebrew Audio. I wanted to give you a quick video on this article we just did on compression. And the idea is to just go over whether you should use compression in your audio recording. Now here's a basic idea of what compression actually is. Let's say you have your audio editor, these two lines representing the outer boundaries, the loudness boundaries, of the audio, and you have your audio going along like this. And there's a little peak, and there's another peak. And now you decide, well, I really can't hear this audio, I need to turn it up. What happens when you try to increase the level of audio in an audio editor is it'll turn it up until the loudest part of the audio, the part that is the tallest in this example here, hits one of these limits and then it will start to distort. So if you say, I want to turn this up to the loudest possible without distorting, what's going to happen is everything will get a little bit louder, but it'll only get this much louder. As much volume as it takes, as much of a level gain as it takes to take the loudest peak and put it to this limit. So what happens a lot of times is you get people who have audio that's distorting and you still can't hear it. That's because they tried to turn it up and they had these peaks here that exceeded, this is called zero dB. It's essentially a maximum boundary. So what you need to do is use a tool called compression to take these, just turn these down, these two peaks. So with compression, you lower these two peaks in level and uh, now you see you have this extra room here to turn everything up and now everything can go up by that amount then you can increase the volume of your audio without actually distorting that is what compression can do for you that's one thing compression can do for you but notice what this did was it actually gave you a more level audio so instead of having two really extreme outliers, you took the outliers and you lowered them down to where the level of the audio on average is a little bit smoother. And that's really what compression is for.